I actually got a new intro and outro. If anybody watching this weekend video, you'll see it. But I'm going to show you it right here. And yes, it's going to interrupt your test of making sure it works. So I got a good intro. I should actually show you this one. I'm going to show you. Sorry. I like the music. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, a brand new day, part two, skip to here, right about here is where it happened, so I got my outro working as well, which is cool. Thank you all for watching, peace out. So why is this so so pretty? What? Bro, is it my fault? Hold on. I got a completely... What the heck? Oh no, I didn't mean to close that. I was just gonna think of what the fuck that was. So if I go here, I can sit on the TV. I told you guys on Twitter that I want you to send me videos of contagious laughing because people... Assist. No, it's about 43, 40, that's too far. 43:46 is when the outro starts. Thank you all for watching. Peace out. So whatever, it's just a sort of previous video there, but whatever. And this outro I actually just found, I had nothing to do with making that outro, I just found it on Panzoid. But for the intro, I actually took a blue intro template, which this random person uploaded. Which, see, I'm not gonna lie, the original one's kinda cool, but I like mine as well. And then I ended up myself, I liked it, so I ended up taking it and doing this with it. I took it and then ended up making a template where it says superhero is the template. And I actually see music myself, which is going to go, speaking of sync. But no, that was nothing to do. Anyways, we are actually going to be playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club. In the last video, I ended up going to play some and then ended up, one, my recording got messed up. Also, I recorded with Shotcut. It sucks. Every, like, few clicks, it tries to buffer this thing, but whatever. And this is not playing audio for some reason. But whatever. You see, all these people, like, with all... He got an insane ass timeline. My timeline? This is fucking... Video, intro, outro. Boom. Put them together. There we go. Because I don't know how to edit. Shit, this... Shit, last video was the first time I ever even used an editing software to edit a video. I've used Filmora before on mobile. But they have that fucking massive ass for mark. All girls are best girls, save them all. Also, I did just also I found out the official name of this song now. So I don't want to load up Doki Doki just to find it. I go in here. Sorry, I just want to make sure I keep recording because I'd recorded a good 10 15 minutes into an episode earlier and it just fucking died on me, dude. Kinda sucked.
funny thing is if she does actually have a pen. Let's get back to where she was. Your team will close their own copy. If you don't remember what's going on, we're well basically uh, getting to read from my book. Or we, she showed me a book and she said reading from my book. And then I was like, ah, oh, you can relax. And then uh, you apologize a lot, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And now we're going to read from each other's books. Or she's going to read from mine. Your team will close their own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. I think my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left... Ah, uh, my freaking fight. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, uh, I would do the same. Or, I do the same with my right arm. My right side of the book, that way I can put her side under her thumb after it flips to her side. But holding it like this... Well, I don't even close it on before. That's really distracting. I regret doing this because of how embarrassing it is. She's about to feel the warmth of your face and she's going to run around vision. I said this last screen. That's not the corner of your vision. That's like half your freaking vision, my guy. And I just love visual novels. I think that's what they said the game is. I don't know, but I love the style. It's so amazing. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Whoops, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glanced over at your face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ugh. I mean, it works out. I said, oh, we're yawning, so. I mean, you naturally say, ah, oh, when you yawn anyway, so. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. I will be right back, actually. It's just random thing, but I will actually be right back. And if it doesn't pause, oh well. It's gonna be like 30 seconds, anyways. Okay, let me just make sure. Even if it didn't pause in the first place, I still wanna make sure it's still going. But I'm pretty sure it paused. I think I did the thing right. Anyway, y yeah. Thanks. I'm used to reading, I'm just used to being distracted by the cute girl next to me. Focus. Focus, focus. I'm gonna continue reading. You're no longer asking for me to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn on my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like a close exchange. I clumsily flip each page. Yuri doesn't seem to notice. Damn sweaty palms, dude. Knees are weak. Palms are sweaty, dude. So far, I'm getting into the main character of the story. Uh, it's a pretty good read so far. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Hmm. Silence fills the room. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's blunter in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all, uh, all of the things that she says and does. She's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head anything hard and give me just a sec. So there's definitely not going to be a video today. Or, I mean, if there is, it's going to be really late in the day. Not late in the day, because even if I don't get to the I'm going to go some of the with my aunt. Uh, yeah. Uh, ah, sorry about that. Oh. I got her that noise when I should have put it back in my ear. God, dang it. It's a noise canceling, but I forgot it does that BS. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But you're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. You were made that from what? But, like, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, it's so embarrassing that you think that. Well, wait, I don't mean it in a bad way or anything. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I'm more meant that it's cute, actually. Uh, ah, well, what are you saying so suddenly? I... Okay, everyone, it's poem time! Ah! I think it's about time we should today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Your exiles spared from finishing her thought. Ah. Is that alright, Yuri? 
You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. Also, I forgot to mention this since I since this is a new recording than the other one earlier. I still fail to fix my sleep schedule. The schedule is still broken. I fell asleep at like 3 or 4 p.m. and stayed asleep till like 9 p.m. on my aunt's couch with her dogs constantly coming and sitting on me. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'd constantly just every now and then kind of wake up for just a few minutes. Her dog would just be sitting on me. I'd be laying sideways on the couch and her dog would just have her butt firmly planted on my side. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, Yuri. We'll read more again soon, I promise. I close out my book and place it into my bag. I guess I should fall Oh my god, I forgot about this part. It's so funny. <sighs> it's so funny. I don't know why it shouldn't be that funny, but it is. Blake, you're up first. Who'd you like to share a poem with? Wait, where did I put my poem? I took my bag and can't find it. Crap. Wait, I remember now. Excuse me while I whip this out. Ah! I pull out the photo poem out of my pants pocket. Oh. What, were you sucking something else? Um, never mind. I'll go to Monica first since you hurt my palm. Hi, Blake. I'm a good time so, so far. But you're the first thing I went to. Because the game forced me to go to you first. So what the hell do you mean so far? I didn't fuck it up. I just hit random using my keyboard. But didn't fuck anything up. I can be with you. Actually, you're saying thanks to you. Good. I'm glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Sure thing. No more fear. It's time to stop being afraid. It's time to help. Anyways. Want to share your poems with me today? Well, it's kind of embarrassing, but sure. <laughs> Don't worry, Blake. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? We're so bitter. So we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. And Monica Mom. Wow, this is different than the other Also, she's, she's damn cross-eyed. Look, she's staring straight at the mouse. Other times? No, nothing. Nothing. Just forget what I said. I'm not quite sure what to say. Monica rears my phone again. I know it's my first time writing, please tell me what you think, really. Well, okay then. This is absolutely new to me. I'm teaching the style is much more different than before. Um, everyone else might be, might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles, but the tone might actually suit you. Don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Be original. Like this. I really like this. It's much better than just random words anyways. Did she say world or words? Ah, words, okay. For some reason, it looked like she said worlds at first. Or not at first, but like for a second, I was like, wait a minute, what did that say? Oh, so sorry about this game for every kind of short, because I want to get back to my YouTube video. God, but I just fucked that up. Okay, good. I hit one of the buttons that is required to stop my recording, and I thought I might have actually hit both, because they're right next to each other. They're both on this. I can't hit random keys on the numpad, but they're both on this fat numpad over here. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident, someone who claims to not be good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't mean I'll cheer that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Who more could have been me? Here, I'll let y'all read this. I've already read it. If you want to read it, if you really want to read it, pause it. There you go. If you really want to read it really bad, go back and pause it. Holy crap, what is this phone? Infinite choices? Who is looking in? So what do you think, Monica? I'm really intently. I think you really like this phone. Thanks. It's in your style I've been trying out. You've been writing before? I've been writing for a very long time. Just no one knows. What gave you inspiration to write this? Ah, well I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I wonder if it's similar to what I've been feeling. It's kind of nice to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. I decided to push Monica a little. 
You can tell me. I'd love to hear it. I'll see. Yeah, this is back to where I was. Um, really? Well, maybe after everyone is at a fence with each other. Darn it. Darn it. Man. What the heck, man? Anyway. Here's the Monica's rain. Tip of the day. I feel like I've heard this before. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink, so you move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening, Monica. Yes. You give me an, another idea for poems right tomorrow. Thank you. Really? I'm surprised you would say that. Well, I'm full of surprises once you get to know me. Christ. Oh my god, this dude. Oh, wrong button. Alright, I'm all back. Sorry about that. Well, I'm full of the bu- Well, I'm full of surprises once you get to know me. I've got three different bottles of flavored water here. Uh, red, orange, and blue. Strawberry, and orange. Just generic orange. What came first, the fruit or the color? Technically, the color, because the color was on, is on the fruit, so. What came first, the chicken or the egg? God created animals, not fucking eggs. I mean, if you don't believe in God, then... I don't know what to tell you, but, so, if you don't believe in God, then I don't know how to explain it to you, though. And no, I'm not saying, oh, you have to have my religion, I'm just saying, if you don't believe in the same God I do, then it's not really going to work out well for you. Once again, I sure you read that. If you don't believe in the thing that I did, my explanation's not going to make much sense. There we go. That's more like it. Hey, you're silly, Blake. I think there's more to a poem than she's writing on. Let's go check Sayori next. Hi. You're not going to kill yourself anymore, right? Hey, Sayori. Hi, Blake. Hi, Sayori. Want to see my poem? Sure thing. I can't say you're in my poem. Oh, my goodness. This is a completely different side of you. I love it. I would have never guessed you'd write something like this. Sayori? Really? I'm not a good writer at all. I was just wondering about my dreams that I've been having lately, that's all. Wait, did I not choose words? I thought I chose words, well. Boy, I'm so confused. Did I... Did... Did, did I... Did I... Did I not choose words, dude? I'm so confused, bro. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea either. Ah, jeez. I'm sure you're this a little more constructive than this. What about Natsuki? Natsuki. Even, maybe even Natsuki speak of the devil. If she don't like it just because I brought it. Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? I mean, I, you're not wrong, but, like, that's a bit of a biased reason to like my... Sh- oh, I know you well, so I like your sh- Sorry, I'm just peeling the wrapper off this water bottle. Oh, my God, I left behind the white, freaking thin white thing. I don't have any of the white stuff on it, it's just a bit sticky. 
Also, I mean, my stuff usually makes it sticky if you get what I'm saying, but, you know. Um, but why is it so bubbly? It's not carbonated. I think I see it better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a blank poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. So you already have to sheet against the chest. It's so cute when she does that. <laughs> Here, Black, let me see you mine. Wait. Okay, I don't want to touch anything. Here's some time the way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead. Ah! Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleeping from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting? Or are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above the sky too. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Same! Same. I won't for sure. I'm too lazy to stop or to pause the recording again. This is just a guess, but did you write this poem in the morning? Oh wait, that's me saying. This is just a guess. Did you write this poem in the morning? No. Well, I forgot to do it last night. Well, it's alright. I'm not one to judge. I know you tried your best already, and that's what matters. Don't be mean. Wait, what? I thought you were going to lecture me again. Oh, look at her eyes. Why would I do that? What is with this poem, though? The poem starts off cute. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. What's up with that? I feel worried about Sayori. Yeah, she's, she's kind of depressed, bro. Oh my god, bro. Bro, I'm just trying to get this fizz off the side of this bottle. It turned into a freaking mind game for me, bro. Oh my god, did I do it? Yo, oh my god, I just shook the bottle. <laughs> These poems are too... <laughs> These poems are directly calling out to me. First one, because not say yours. By the way, say yours, that isn't a bad... This isn't a bad poem. I actually like it. So I just like you. Really? Yeah, it starts with the last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though we were almost late to school. Well, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Yeah, that's you. Sounds like I like you. Yeah, hey! I what I said to you before, I'll come over to help. I, I don't know. Well, please think about it. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for showing me your poem. <laughs> this was so much fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Head over to Natsuki next. Yay, Natsuki. Hi, Natsuki. Sup. Just, sup. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hi, how's it going? Sup. Would you like to see my poem? Eh, if I must. I hand Natsuki my poem. Oh my god, her eyes! Dude, her eyes, what the hell? Hmm? Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, yes? Let's take pauses and reread my poem several times. Never mind, I don't want to get my thing. Seriously, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this because I wanted to share something with all of you. Uh, in fact, remember I said I want to read your poems, especially? I had this in mind since then, and I started to write. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have messed up the same character without writing this. Thanks, Tiki. Ugh, fine then. Well, I'll be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours is absolute, complete trash. You're supposed to show me some kind of poem and go, Ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like, bitch. And then you went and ruined it. Now I've seen this poem that makes me not know how to feel about it. I hope you're happy, smarty pants. So you actually like my poem? Ugh. I think you just talk, it's gotten at the... Oh, I just so... Ah! Jesus Christ, you just backed me upside the head, bro. Ow! You you just don't understand anything, do you? You dummy. You're right, I don't understand anything. You need to be more blunt with me sometimes at times. A little dense. I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. I'm not self-important, that's the point. I just wanted your opinion. 
It's a little more than your opinion if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> you know. Really? I just care about what you think. I was gonna think you would just tell me what she means. I can't figure out if she likes my poem or really hates it. In any case, can I please see your fine, I guess. Only because my uncle will make me if I don't. We've all seen this poem a million times. Wow, this poem is cool. It's right to the point. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I told you you were gonna like it. Wait, weren't? Oh wait, did she say yeah, I told you you weren't gonna like it? Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. But I do like it. What? What? You liar. Just be honest. You think I'm lying. I really like it. Why would you be so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. People don't even take my writing seriously. Isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Dude. There. Let's see how many of my saves. For all but one of my saves in the classroom. So you're reason one of them, Monica's in one of them. You're reason two of them, although I think they're like just a few minutes apart in the saves. Look, she's even in the same pose, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I think there were like a few words apart. And then one's at the very beginning of the like mod. And then there's the one right here. But isn't the point of footballs for people to express themselves? Let me just grab a bottle of this blood. Ah, I love strawberry flavored blood. Oh my god, shit. Okay, I definitely accidentally hit those things there, but apparently I'm still recording, so that's cool. It didn't fucking hate me. Well, that's so little sources. I know I have like a billion more than that. Why is there barely any? Sanyo. Did I? Oh, yeah. Because I used to have this computer with the same version of OBS hooked up in the other room on a fucking massive ass hanger TV, which is surprisingly enough roughly the same size as this. It feels so much bigger, but that's just because it's so much closer. This one's a good foot or two away from me and wall mounted. The other one was like hot, was like less than a foot away and not wall mounted. It was at like eye level. <laughs> You're right, so I wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. This poem is easy to read in the HR. Wait. You a mind reader or something? I was just about to say that. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I stood up for rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat for on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. I love that disappointment you put at the end. It's simply delicious. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. You didn't expect. You didn't expect that from the person who did you. You aren't the youngest. Y'all are all the same. Y'all are all 18. Meaning y'all are all just fairly legal. Mm. Yeah, I guess not. She's only a few months out. Oh, a few months younger than that. So, okay. So that makes sense. Well, I can't wait to see from you now, too. Okay. I really love this poem. I can't wait to see more from you, Natsuki. I really love this poem. I'm smiling at Natsuki. Ah! Dummy! It's like she tells with the fist. Anyways, you can take out your poem. Looks like she's been staring at us this whole time. Whoa, she's right. We'll talk more later. It's been fun, Natsuki! It's been fun, Natsuki. Thank you. This bitch just said, out, I'm out of here. I walk around to Yuri. She had her face in her book, trying to make it not as obvious that she... Trying to make it... Obvious that... I get what it's saying, but I don't know how to word it. 
Trying to make it not so obvious that she was staring at me the entire time. Yuri? Ah, you surprised me. Oh yeah, I surprised you, sure. I love the, it looks like the, is that the crazy eyes mixed with like, get the friend's face, mixed with like her worried face, that's so cool. She quickly closes the book. Yuri seems a little nervous. Would you like to see my poem? I carefully hand Yuri my poem. She was through the book down on one other desk. I hear Yuri's poem when I said I was like, exceptional. Wow, she spoke her mind for once. Wow. But I, did, did I say that out loud? Yuri tries to cover her mouth but says miserably. You did, it, but it's alright. No one is having me. I, ugh. She's going to hate me. Um, what are you doing on there? Eh? I guess you're it. What am I getting some nervous for? Relax. Uh, you're a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Not much. I just wrote for my dreams and my heart. I used to hear me to metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? That's a huge compliment coming from you. This is my first time I've actually a poem out. Some before. Huh? Really? You're sitting with blank that looks at my poem again. Yuri coughs. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh, um. Yuri shows up, unable to find an excuse. She chased her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, this is the reason I was able to tell. I don't know why I went to like the Natsuki or Sayori kind of voice, but I did. I wanted to keep this one. To further research your writing style. Is that alright with you? You sure you're not gonna touch yourself with that like you did my freaking pen? Leave your scent on it? <laughs> that was kind of fucking weird. Is that alright with you? By all means, you can keep it. Thank you. Your turns around and holds the palm against the chest, hugging it firmly. Ah, here, Blake. You're in shadow and your palm, her hands are lightly trembling. It's the ghost and the light thing. Cool. Am I the light? You self-centered prick. I I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. Who is she kidding? What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Well, I just don't read cursive very often. Actually, your handwriting is very pretty. Compared to my cheek and scratch. I mean, that's true in real life. I suck at writing in real life. Both was coming up with ideas and just general handwriting. Bruh, my handwriting looks like a frog drowned in ink, came back to life, and jumped on a paper. Eh? That's a relief? Also, I really like the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. No, no, not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Oh, my God. How long am I going? 30 minutes. Not long enough for a cat staying episode. Actually, no. This is a perfect time. I'm going to start doing some shorter episodes so I can drag for longer. So, actually, I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.